Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is one that I have been super excited about filming for the longest time. I've literally wanted to do this video since we started our channel back in January, but I decided to hold off on filming this video until I could get my hands on some more pieces once some more collections were released. So if you haven't heard of Angel Collection, it is a loungewear brand owned and started up by Ellie Darby and Connor Swift. They are my favourite YouTubers and it's through finding their channel back in the summer that I got into Angel Collection. So this video is a full Angel Collection review of all the pieces that I have and there'll be try on clips as well to show you how they look on. So yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. I'll go through all the pieces that I have in the order that they were released because all the different items came in different collections. Just so you're aware, it is still a small business. So most stuff sells out literally within like 10 minutes of launching on the site. So most of the stuff that I have won't currently be available, but they do re-release items. For example, the pajamas have come out several times and they have a feature on their website where you can get an email when something's back in stock. So if there is anything you like, it's worth signing up for that. And also you can see the kind of quality of the items that they bring out. So let's kick off with the pajama collection because that was the first collection that I ordered from and that was released back in October, I think. When I first saw the items being shown on Angel Collections Instagram, I was quite shocked at the price. I thought they were quite pricey for pajamas, but I decided to go for it anyway, see what they were like, and I knew I could send them back if I didn't like anything. So in the pajama collection, I went for the slumber pajamas, which are these. So the top half looks like, it's like the shirt kind of style top and I'd wanted something like this for the longest time and I'd been looking at a different company but the fabric wasn't ideal because they were more of like a satiny material and I didn't really want that. To go with the top I also ordered the trousers which are the same colour and they're just really baggy comfy trousers. I believe these were £65 for both pieces which I did think was quite expensive for pyjamas but I'd never ordered from them before so I had no idea what the quality was like and when they arrived I was just blown away. The quality of these pyjamas is insane. They're so thick, they're so heavy, they're so soft and they're so comfortable and the detailing on them is so good. So you've got angel on the pocket, you've got this white ribbing on the pocket and you've got it all around the edge and on the cuffs of the trousers as well and also on the trousers you've got the tie which also says angel obviously so much thought has gone into these and they are just gorgeous so i was hooked <laughs> immediately i was like oh i love angel collection and what is better to spend money on during a pandemic than loungewear so i kept these and in the same collection i also ordered the dressing gown because I still have my dressing gown from when I was about 10 and I wanted a nice grown up dressing gown and I thought this was perfect because it's just a basic cream dressing gown and it's also got the angel logo on it again and it's so fluffy, so comfy and just perfect really for a nice sophisticated dressing gown. This I believe was £50 and definitely worth every penny considering Dressing gowns are normally quite expensive anyway, so I didn't really think of this as an expensive purchase. Thought it was quite reasonable for what it is. Yeah, when these arrived, I was blown away by the quality of the clothing and I just knew I'd have to get some more. So when they started teasing their next collection, which was called the Neutrals Collection, I was so excited because they were bringing out matching sets of sweatshirt and joggers which is just perfect to throw on. It's such an easy outfit and I've lived and died in it. So in that collection I picked up the Angelite Joggers in rose. These are gorgeous. I love that the tassels have these metal bits at the end which are engraved with Angel. I'm not sure if the camera's focusing on that. They've also got Angel printed on the leg and they've got these nice ribby bits down the middle of each leg and the bottoms are cuffed and they just fit so nicely. They're honestly the most flattering tracksuit bottoms I've ever had and so, so comfy. So to go with those, I picked up the sweatshirt in rose, which has angel on the neckline and it 
matches perfectly with the trousers and again super super comfy super baggy and super relaxed so i've literally loved these lived in them so much i think these were 65 pounds for the set you do buy them separately so you can buy different sizes in the top and bottom um but in total i think they were 65 pounds and then in this collection as well they brought out the diamond hoodie now this was something that i'd spotted on ellie's instagram back in august or september and i'd fallen in love with the printing on the back but it was nowhere to be seen on the website so when they first started teasing this i was so excited because i knew that i had to have it so it's really long hoodie you've got the pocket on the front and the cuffs are tight too and it's just the most comfy relaxed hoodie and again you've got the metal bits on the tassels with angel engraved in there they literally think of everything with these pieces um something that i really love is everything that's got angel written on it or any writing it's all sewn on if it was printed on then it could easily come off in the wash but everything is sewn on so it's going to be so much longer lasting and i just love that in the neutrals collection they also brought out the cloud nine hoodie which honestly i think has been their most popular item because it sold out so fast everyone's been after it and they've restocked it twice i think i actually missed out on it the first time but they relaunched it a little while later and i managed to get my hands on it that time so here it is and I actually wear this like a dressing gown so I just throw it on over my pyjamas and it's the cosiest thing to wear in the evening. I love the detail across the back because you've got angel written right across the back and down the sleeves and on the front you've got angel written on there again. You've got the pocket like you would with a normal hoodie and the inside of the hood is a nice luxe fabric and I'm so glad I managed to get my hands on this. I think this was 50 pounds but it's definitely worth every penny it's fluffy on the inside so it's so so cozy and i just love throwing that on over my pajamas at the same time i also picked up the luna t-shirt in gray the fabric is literally so so soft i don't even know how to explain it and again angel is printed on that well not printed it's sewn on again and this is just a really nice soft baggy t-shirt so it's almost long enough to wear as a t-shirt dress but i do put shorts on underneath just in case um because i'm quite tall so it does come up a little bit short it's just the comfiest so those last two pieces were from the christmas collection and then that was the final collection of 2020 and then in february of 2021 they brought out the essentials collection so they were bringing out new colorways of the angel light set so i picked it up in oatmeal so i've got the joggers again with the nice metal ends on the ties and the angel embroidery on there and the tight top and the tight cuffs at the bottom and the strip down the middle of the leg and I also got the oatmeal sweatshirt to match, again with the angel embroidery on the neck. When I got the first set, I got a medium, which is very, very baggy. So this time around, I decided to get a small, so I've got options in the sizing. Both fit, both are so comfy. They're just slightly different sizing. So the pink trousers come up a bit baggier and the pink jumper comes up a bit baggier and longer but both sizes fit so there's definitely flexibility with what size you want to order. I did also want to get my hands on the charcoal one of this set but unfortunately that sold out before I could get to check out. Hopefully that will relaunch at some time because I just think having dark set would be really useful. Another item that I picked up in the essentials release is the angel light quarter zip. So this is the same sort of fabric as the Angel Light tracksuit. I went for the cream, they also released it in a pink. But I really liked this colour and the contrast pink of the embroidered angel. And on the zip they've got angel printed on that too. And this is just such a nice jumper. It's really flattering. You could wear it with the zip down and the collar bent down or you could zip it up if you want to be nice and warm. The cuffs are a different fabric 
and they feel really nice and then the band at the bottom is the same fabric as the cuffs again this jumper is really really soft and i love wearing this with leggings but it would definitely work with the angel oak tracksuit bottoms as well so the final item that i picked up in the essentials launch was a pink thong i don't have that with me right now but i can pop a picture up on screen to show you what that looks like it's really really high waisted so it's a very very different fit from anything i've worn before but it's so comfy so that's the end of the essentials collection and we'll move on to their most recent launch which was the sunday club this is the collection that i've definitely bought the most from i couldn't narrow down my decisions so i did kind of splurge on this collection so the first piece that i knew i had to have from this collection i actually saw on ellie darby stories like two months i think before they released the collection and I was desperate for it to come out. I thought it would come out in, in the Essentials launch, but no, I had to wait longer. And it is the Recharge High Neck sweatshirt. Now I got it in this lovely mocha colour and you've got the high neck here and the embroidery says Angel of the Sunday Club because that's this collection. And what really sold me on this jumper was the detailing on the back. I just thought it was gorgeous. I loved it and yeah, it sold me on this piece. So this is a um, very, very oversized sweatshirt. It comes up long, so I didn't size up or anything in this one. It came up perfectly big enough and it's really, really comfy. Again, it's such a soft fabric. Angel always brings out the best fabrics, so everything is always very, very soft. I then saw this day off zip up hoodie on Ellie's Instagram and it's basically a huge zip up hoodie, which I thought would be really, really useful to just throw on over a t-shirt and shorts or something in the summer. On the back it says Angel the Sunday Club again and on the front you've got Angel written there again and you've also got nice metal ends on the drawstring. I did choose to size up in this because they advised that it's not as oversized as some items and I wanted it to be really big so it was just really slouchy and comfy. So I've got this in a large, most of my items are a medium except the oatmeal angel like top and bottoms are small and so is the angel eye zip up and again this is really really soft and yeah i love 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 this the cuffs are tight which i like and then on the pocket you've got the sunday club written again they've definitely put a lot of thought into these pieces and come up with some really nice designs so the next piece i've got to show you are the lazy set the set came out in leggings shorts and a crop top and they came out in several different colorways i went with the mocha just because it was the color that i loved the most so here's the mocha leggings they are a 7 8 length not full length but longer than a crop legging because i can't stand wearing crop leggings i just don't find them flattering for me personally they've got angel collection branding on the front here and also on the back of the leggings and it's so simple and so gorgeous and I wish you could feel this fabric because I've never ever ever felt such soft leggings. They are perfect. These fit so nicely. They are not restrictive in any way so they are the most comfortable leggings I own. All my leggings are gym leggings and obviously gym leggings are supposed to be figure hugging and hold everything in and I find them just too restrictive for being comfortable for just everyday use. So these are amazing. I also picked up the shorts in the mocha. So these are cycling shorts and for me these are perfect because I've never loved the length of cycling shorts. I find them too long for me. I've always been a shorter shorts kind of person. These are a bit longer than like booty shorts but they're shorter than your average cycling shorts so these are the perfect length for me. Uh, again you've got the branding on the side and then on the back. And these are the same lovely soft fabric and also not restrictive at all. So they're super duper comfy. And to match both of those, so I can wear this with either of those, I picked up the Lazy Racer Crop. I wasn't sure if this was going to be my sort of thing because I'm not really much of a crop top wearer, especially when they're a tight crop top, just because I'm very self-conscious about my stomach. But I decided I'd give it a go because I love the set together and I thought these would look really nice too with the zip up hoodie which I got. And I love it. It fits so, so, so nicely. I really want this in more colours so that I've got some more nice tight tops to wear under baggy hoodies and stuff in the summer. So again, you've got the branding on the front and the branding on the back. 
they've put so much thought into these pieces. Again, the top is a super, super soft fabric. So this is all so comfy to wear. Um, so I'd 100% recommend this to anyone. I also couldn't resist picking up some socks because I thought they were just really, really nice. They are crew socks. So they are long and nice and thick. And at the top, it says the Sunday Club. And then on the sole of the foot, it says Angel. So it's actually a two pack, which I think is really, really good. So you get the black pair and an ecru pair. These have the same branding on them. I think these would go so nicely with the cycling shorts that I've picked up. They'd go well with leggings. I can also pair them with the shoes that I picked up in my Zara haul because I definitely need long socks to wear those. If you've not seen that haul, I will link that here so you can check it out. So I just have a few more pieces to go through. This next item is the Sunday Oversized Tea. So this is a black acid wash and it's just a huge oversized t-shirt, also a really soft fabric, it's a stretchy fabric, so it's really, really comfy. You've got the banding on the front and they also put some branding on the back. That's so comfy. Anyone who knows me will know that in the summer I'm definitely a baggy top and shorts kind of person because for me comfort is key especially since this pandemic started so I picked that one up and then because I'm such a baggy top wearer I also picked it up in the um, acid wash mocha colour because you can never have too many oversized t-shirts and I know I love Angel Collection so I knew I'd love these again same branding on the front and on the back so yeah another big nice baggy top and then the final piece that I got is this cap because I don't have a cap that I like wearing and my head burns easily in the sun. So I thought maybe if I had a cap I actually like, I'll actually wear it. So this one's got the branding on the front and then branding on the back. So that is everything that I have in my collection of Angel Collection pieces. Obviously I am intending to grow my collection more because I live and die in everything from Angel Collection and it's all so, so comfortable. I don't, I'm not really one for dressing up, I like my comfies, so it's worth every penny for me. It's now a couple of days later, I just wanted to jump back on here to update you because Angel Collection actually had another release yesterday. It was their spring restock, which was mainly re-releases of the Sunday Club collection in different colourways and they did bring the, some of the original colourways back in stock and then there was also a few other styles the ones that jumped on mind like the angelite and the diamond hoodie and they also came out in some new colorways so i just wanted to mention in here what i managed to pick up in that launch obviously i can't do any try on clips of these pieces because i don't have them yet but i will put pictures up on screen from the website so that you can see what items i'm talking about so i ordered four new pieces. The first piece that I picked up is the diamond hoodie which I currently have in pink and they released it in a pistachio colourway and as soon as I saw it I fell in love. It's such such a nice colour so I decided to pick that up in the diamond hoodie and I love the way the writing on the back contrasts the main colour of the hoodie. To go with that they brought out pistachio trackies, leggings and shorts. I decided not to get the trackies at this point because we're going into the summer so realistically I'm not going to be wearing trackies as much so I went with the leggings for that one because leggings I can still wear all year I'm more likely to wear them in the summer than trackies but they're still wearable in the winter so I thought that was a good option to pair with the hoodie just so that I've got a nice matching set and then in the same colourway I picked up the lazy racer crop because I just love the fit of it and the fabric and you don't need to wear a bra under it and it's so comfy so I wanted that in another colourway and that was the colour that I went for so that will match the leggings and the hoodie as well so that will be really nice. The final item I picked up is the lazy shorts and I got them in a black because I wanted them in a black anyway but in the Sunday Club collection I decided just to get them in the one colour, see what I think of them and then if they release them again in the future then I could pick another colour up. Because I loved them when I tried on the brown ones, they're a perfect length for me as I said earlier because normal cycling shorts I find are too long for me and then the shorts that I have are a bit on the short side so these are the perfect length and they're not restrictive so I decided to go for the black in those because 
black coats of everything and I will definitely get lots of wear out of those. As of filming this clip there are still items in stock from the spring launch. I know that the pistachio diamond hoodie that I picked up is out of stock but the other three items that I've ordered are still in stock as of filming this so if there's anything that you want to pick up in the spring collection it's definitely worth having a look on the website which I will leave linked down below. So as you can probably tell Angel Collection is definitely my favourite brand at the moment. I am living and dying in loungewear so it's literally perfect for me. I can feel comfortable in my clothes but still feel put together whereas a lot of the time when I'm wearing trackies or other loungewear I can feel a bit scruffy but I never feel that way wearing Angel Collection. So yes I would 100% recommend the brand. I will leave the sizes that I bought in each item in the description. Um, and for reference, I am typically a size 10 to 12 and I'm 5 foot 9, just so you can get an idea of how the sizings come up on me. And if you don't spot anything that you like on the website right now, there is a summer launch coming up. I'm not sure when that will be, but I'm really excited for that and excited to find out what they're going to be launching in that collection. I guess that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed filming it. As I said, I have been dying to film this video since we started our channel, so I'm super excited to be able to bring this out. If you have enjoyed, please give it a huge thumbs up, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more. See you in the next one. Bye.